Okay, I've got um, a lot, a lot of requests um, um, to to feature um, a normal cushion cut versus our cushion huts and narrows, the cushion brilia. Okay, um, so I decided to do this video. All right, um, and I'll throw in one of the uh, our um, super ideal rounds as well. So you guys. Uh, who who want to make a comparison uh, with our super ideal rounds? Uh, you can you can look to this video as well. Okay, um, here we got the uh, our signature round hearts and arrows. Yeah, um, in terms of brightness and contrast, is 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 something that the cushion hearts and arrows mimics very very well. Okay, here we have a 51 f color VS2. Um, it's a picture perfect hearts and arrows. And here we got a 0.71 FVS2 as well. It's a uh, modern cut cushion, okay. Uh, that has a really crushed ice uh, look to it. All right. And now I'm gonna bring in the cushion Brilia, uh, the Hearts and Arrows cushion, um, uh, which uh, uh, has been ever so popular lately, okay. Uh, so, so the major differences that you're gonna get is that the the cushion brilla has a really nice. Oh, I'm gonna get this straight. Okay, uh, nice contrast and brilliance to it. Um, look, at, looking at the white reflections over here. Yeah, another great thing about it is that it, it, it takes on a really nice um, soft pill shape around the diamond, uh, which is really really appealing. Okay, uh, it, well, sorry, um, it sits very nicely on the finger. Um, and in terms of brightness and contrast, you can compare uh, this uh, modern faceted cushion over here uh, versus the cushion um, hearts and arrows. Um, <laughs> there is no no comparison at all. Okay, the cushion uh, hearts and arrows is clearly so much so much brighter. Yeah, as you can see very clearly on the video. All right, so the optics of the cushion hearts and arrows uh, mimics the round very much. So, all right, it does uh, uh, slight differences. Okay, in its uh, in its cutting, um, some of you may even say the cushion hearts and arrows look, appear brighter. Um, to me, it look more or less looks a bit uh, quite alike. But uh, under diffuse light, it, it, it looks great. Definitely, it's it's yes, yeah, it's, it's cut such to high standards of uh, symmetry. And yeah, I I don't think uh, you can go wrong with a, a piece like uh, this one over here. Okay, uh, so we're gonna move on. Um, to spotlight, and we're going to see uh, the sparkle scintillation. All right. All right. Here we're going to look at sparkle scintillation of the round hearts and arrows uh, on the left. Okay, and we got the modern faceted cushion on the right. Now this is not a poor cut cushion, modern cushion. It's really one of the best that I could find, um, but. Uh, I, I don't want to give you some junk cushion in comparison. I want to give uh, try to show you um, a comparison of the best. Okay, um, this has really great optics for a modern cushion cut. Unfortunately, I've stopped selling that because we have the cushion hearts and arrows now. Okay, uh, but here's a good comparison uh, between the round and um, your modern faceted cushion. Okay, and here we're gonna bring in the cushion bread, uh, the also popular cushion brilla right now. Um, and uh, show you the differences, okay? Um, in terms of sparkle, here you go. It's it's fairly obvious, all right. Um, definitely a winner to the cushion hearts and arrows, all right. But it's definitely not lacking in the, in the modern uh, faceted cushion. But it's really one of the best uh, modern faceted cushions you can find around as well, okay. Okay, we're gonna look at the uh, fire and scintillation um, between uh, uh, the the round hearts and arrows, uh, modern faceted cushion, and as well as the cushion hearts and arrows, also known as the cushion brilia. All right, um, on the left here we got our signature super ideal round uh, hearts and arrows. Okay, we're looking at fire and scintillation here, and on the right we have the modern faceted cushion. Okay, um, nothing too impressive about the cushion. Um, it's still a nice cushion though. Yeah. I'm really really picky about the optics of uh, cushion cuts and um, just what happened uh, I stopped selling them after I have the uh, cushion hearts and arrows because it's uh, yeah, clearly better uh, in my personal opinion okay um, 
but uh, this is the, the difference between a, a round hot and a modern, modern faceted cushion, right? Now I'm gonna bring in um, the main guy who's here in the vi um, what the video is for. I'm gonna show you, um, yeah, uh, fire and sparkle scintillation between these two guys here, right? So on the right, we have the Cushion Hearts and Arrows, also known as the Cushion Brilla. And on the left, we have the Modern Faceted Cushion, okay? Um, in my opinion, there's no competition at all, in my personal opinion, alright? Um, the Cushion Hearts and Arrows is really cut to such high optics um, and precision to give you not only that uh, brilliance and uh, fire, uh, and scintillation, but as well as to give you the um, optical symmetry that you that you can clearly see here, it's very very consistent, and uh, you can really never go wrong with uh, uh, something like this over here. Okay. Um, yeah. Once again, I do not have a vintage cushion in hand, so I can't make that comparison right now. But if you're looking to the modern cushion, this is well. Uh, this is it, alright, and this would be the Cushion Hearts and Arrows, which is blazing and amazing. <laughs> okay, um, alright, guys, so this is a short video clip, just want to show off the uh, Cushion Hearts and Arrows a bit more.